Hello my loves, it's Kasha, Planarista 101. As you can see, I have upgraded to the discs and I changed the snap-on cover from the black, uh, from the white to the black. And today we are going to be planning for the month of July in my new wild style. I am so in love with it. I can't get enough. I hope you guys feel the same way. And while I pick my sticker box, which I think I'm going to be working with Bookish and the happy illustrations today, I just wanted to say welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you so much to the current subscribers. I truly appreciate you guys and also wanted to encourage all of those visiting to subscribe if you like my videos and you would like to see more and don't forget to hit that notification bell okay so july is actually my birthday month and i truly love it and i wanted to make a very like i love a lot of green and i'm pretty simple so i wanted to reflect that in my monthly spread as I'm going to be only decorating one monthly. I know before I was doing two, I decided that one decorated monthly will be enough and one currently will be enough because I was doing too much. So, this is what I decided that I'm going to kind of use plants and disperse them throughout the spread and mark some important dates so you will see i'm flipping through the fun florals because that book is so beautiful and somehow i never use it so i'm not sure why <laughs> but as you can see i just spread all of the books around the planner and then i'm going from there so i want to start with these plants from bookish i think they're absolutely gorgeous i think they did a great job designing those the only reason why i got the book was actually for these and the little um like craft stores or whatever those might be but these plants were probably the main reason of why i got this book Okay, so I'm placing a couple stickers here and there. So Saturday is our Independence Day. Okay, and the... illustration sticker book has really beautiful plants as well they're kind of like a hanging succulents which i also love and they're just designed really pretty like they did a great job designing these so i just wanted to incorporate all of that into my spread and hope that it's gonna look good combined. We'll see. So I'm just trying to decide where to place the stickers. Um, I do have quite a few things going on this month, so I'm just trying to avoid Look at those, those are so beautiful So I was just trying to avoid those dates on the spread where I actually have stuff So that's why I keep kind of doing it much slower than normally
You guys, look at this plant. Like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to see if there's more plants that I could add to kind of bring in even more of the spread in. And I'm thinking that maybe these flowers were kind of liven up the whole spread, especially because there's already kind of the, the same color in the line on top and in the jotted, jotted down so I was thinking that maybe that would work but let's see looking at it and I'm thinking about it and maybe it just needs a little bit more on the bottom let's take a look so just fix that flower and upon looking on this I don't think that that will work I think it's pulling too much attention out of the padded plants and I actually want them to, to be the focus so I might have to use just some green plants some greenery to bring out that green from the padded plants and not like overcome it For those of you who use multiple planners like myself, do you guys um, decorate multiple monthlies or do you do one of your main planner and then the rest are kind of plain? Because I do obviously one and I used to do two. I used to do my wellness and then I used to and I always did my catch all. So lately I also added my wellness to be decorated by I think that one is enough and then the other ones I just jot things down as I need. And I really do use utilize monthly quite a bit. If you seen the flip through of my catch all planner from January till now, you will realize that I am doing something pretty much every month with my monthly spreads okay so i did a little bit of consolidating in this planner and the sheets that had like one sticker or two stickers i put them on one sheet they are all from the same book this is already my third book of the florals and I love it. Obviously, I think this is my favorite book out of all of them. It's most used, this and the boxes. They kind of go hand in hand because if I have florals, I will put boxes down. So that's kind of how that's going. So I'm creating arches and I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet, but we'll see. The leaf on the bottom, I think, just completes the look. Mm, I don't like them together like this. So I'm going to have to remove one of them.
So I do like things balanced. They don't always need to be exactly matched up on both sides, but I do like them balanced. So if I have green on one side, I will add green to the opposite page to make sure that it's beautifully balanced. And I don't know what to do with those leaves and I don't like them like that. So I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Because I need something. There can't be just an empty box like that. Okay, so for now, it's going to bug me that it's not centered. So we'll have to center it. Oh my, always something, right? Let's see. Okay, that could work. Yep. So it's all types of different leaves up here and super green. And it's happy and it looks more like spring than summer. But again, like I said, this is my birthday month. And I actually love celebrating birthdays. Not only mine, but I love celebrating other people's birthdays too. I usually make a bigger deal out of somebody's birthday that they do about their own, which is a lot of fun because you guys, life is pretty short. I've been having a lot of um, medical scares and issues that I'm dealing with and I am realizing what's really important in life is friendship and relationships and cultivating cultivating all of this and making connections and actually just trying to leave the world a little bit of a better place than when you find it so showing kindness to others and understanding and even though like I'm not healthy and there's a lot of suffering I try to empathize with other people and I think that's what makes us human that even though we're not maybe doing the best ourselves we still can look at another human being and be like oh i understand you and yes i understand your pain it's completely different than mine but i'm here if you want to talk or i'm here if you want to do anything so the support is just overwhelming sometimes but it's also so heartwarming. I really do have an amazing support system. And I think that's what makes even this community so special. Because you guys are like my family. All of the messages I get. All of the heartwarming wishes I get. And mess and like I said, and comments. You guys are just the best, truly. I couldn't have picked a better hobby even if I tried to because there is no better hobby. Because even if there is something that I could be doing that's more productive, it doesn't have the same type of people. Planner people are just awesome and kind and I can't stress that enough. Yes, there is few bad apples, but every nation has few bad apples. But for the most part, um... This community embraces people with full open arms, which is amazing. So as you can see, while I was blabbing that I am placing some boxes down. So the 24th is my birthday and I'm very, very excited about it. Um, and let's see, 31st will be the last day of my work and I'll be moving on to a different company. I'm still in the process of interviewing and I think that's pretty great.
and a few things going here and there and I'm pretty much done with this spread let me know down below how you liked it let me know um, what type of decorations are you doing for this month's monthly and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very very soon bye